So late last week, NDP leader Tom Mulcair said that if his party were elected in next month's election, they'd begin implementing a universal pharmacare program. Now, basically what this means is that they would commit something like 2.5 or $2.6 billion to lowering the cost of prescription drugs by bulk buying prescription medicine and then negotiating the prices with the provincial and territorial governments. Now, like all campaign promises. I think we can take this one with a grain or maybe even two grains of salt. But if implemented, it would be a bold step in the right direction. I mean, we all like to brag about Canada's universal health care system, and maybe we're right to brag about it. But I think deep down, a lot of us know that it's not as good as it could be. And the reason for that is pharmaceuticals. I mean, sure, you can waltz into any emergency room and get care if you have a health card. But why should treating long-term illnesses that require prescription drugs stop like arthritis or lymphoma or any kind of mental illness be seen as any different from getting a few stitches, resetting a bone, or getting your appendix removed. As good as Canada's universal health care system is, the pharma care system often seems like a shoddy patchwork. And I think it's high time that the NDP, or any federal government really, commit to stitching up the holes in this patchwork. 